Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto, and I routinely get requests to do what I eat in a day or what I eat in a week video. And up until this point, I've resisted doing that, just because I don't find those videos especially interesting. But as I thought more about it, I thought maybe by showing you what I eat in a week, you'll see just the variety of keto foods a person can eat. Although, maybe less so for me, just because so much of what I wind up eating winds up being leftovers made from something previously. So anytime, if I do continue to do these videos, you're gonna see a fairly obvious recipe sequencing where I make something and then I got leftovers and I use those leftovers in something and maybe those become leftovers again and I use those in something. The other thing these videos could potentially do is introduce some of you, especially people who are newer to the channel, to some of my older recipes. Now for this video, pretty much all I show is dinner because mostly that's what I eat. I don't intentionally try and do one meal a day or intermittent fasting. It just, it's sort of my habit now. It's just what I do. I wake up in the morning, I'll have coffee. Then I don't generally have anything until late afternoon and then it's a snack, a late afternoon snack, and then supper. And one of my viewers, Michelle, came up with the acronym, I love it, the GE part of me loves it, called CLASS, C-L-A-S-S. -S. So coffee, late afternoon snack, supper. Also, you will see that this week I had some keto bread type products, a bun, some bread, a tortilla. Usually that's more of a once a week thing for me, but I wanted to see if some of the recent seasonal allergy things that I was going through was a function of the actual weather and pollen count and air quality, or if it was related to some of these wheat type ingredients that are in some of these keto products. So that's why I tried them out. Interestingly, didn't have any sort of an allergy thing. So maybe it's not the wheat, maybe it was just the air. Anyhow, let's get to what I eat in a week, starting with last Monday. On Monday, I made some stuffed bell peppers. These are orange bell peppers. And the stuffing is lupini rice, the AV8 brand, along with some chorizo and some cheese. I've got it topped with some fresh mozzarella and some pork rind panko. It is looking and smelling pretty wonderful. So we're gonna plate that up. And it's a nice night, so we're eating outside. Per usual, Thumper wants to be right up in the business. This does, in fact, taste as good as it looks, but with all that cheese, how can you go wrong? On Tuesday, I made the cupcake chicken thigh recipe that was last Friday's video. You can see that lovely smoke color. As I push down, you can see how juicy and tender it is. Wednesday night, I was doing a kitchen live stream for the top two tiers of my paid channel members. I was making some chaffles and experimenting with some King Arthur flavors. I had some leftover lupini rice with some spinach and mushrooms and sausage in it. It doesn't look very pretty, but it tasted pretty good. Then with the rye bread flavored chaffles I had left over, I made a roast beef and horseradish sandwich. On Thursday, I made my pork belly burnt ends. I'll link to that recipe. These are always, always a hit. Along with them, I had some guacamole and some Hilo nacho chips. Friday was a rare occasion. I had breakfast. I don't usually have breakfast, but I had some scrambled eggs with some chives from my garden along with a couple sausages and bacon. Then for dinner, we had cheeseburgers, including my last Sola burger bun. I've got that all plated up, a little ketchup, a little brown mustard, and there's some soup that Terry made, a mushroom asparagus soup, and per usual, thumper. Saturday, had some leftover burger patties on some brown berry seeded keto bread. Then Sunday, which was our grill out day, I've got some buffalo chicken bratwurst boiling in beer. Five pounds of pork belly, which I've cut into some pieces and coated with my barbecue rub. Those will go into the smoker for the next six to eight hours and then turn into shredded pork. Meanwhile, I'm going to do some appetizers. Going to do a little bit of pig candy here. I've got some thick cut bacon, which I have coated in a 50-50 mixture of Truvia Brown and my barbecue rub. I'm putting this on a shelf over the pork in case it drips some fat. I get a little bonus flavor down in the shredded pork. 
While all that's going, I also did some appetizers here, some little skewers. I've got some fried queso de freyr cheese, the pork belly burnt end bits, and little bratwurst bites from those buffalo chicken bratwursts I showed you earlier. Two hours later, the pig candy is looking wonderful and glazed, always a hit. And the cool thing we found is that in the sunshine, it stays warm. Nothing makes me happier than the sight of two smokers going simultaneously. Let's take a look at what we got going on here. There's some little half cobs of corn, that's not for me, the shredded pork, which I shredded with a couple of forks, and some smoked mac and cheese with the pig candy on top, also not for me. Over here in the Kamado Joe, I've got a whole chicken, which I brined in an orange and peppercorn and sage brine. We'll let that go for 20 to 25 minutes, and it is looking quite nice. Time to plate things up. So on my plate, I've got pulled pork, a chicken thigh, some more pig candy, and a stuffed pepper that didn't turn out very pretty, but still tasted great. Do you need salt? Finally on Monday, caprese salad, and then leftovers from the day before. Pork belly, burnt ends, some guacamole and taco dip on a La Tortilla Factory low-carb tortilla. So there we go, my first what I eat in a week video. If I keep doing them, it'll probably be on a cadence of once a month. I'm also gonna kind of see what happens in the comments on this video. I suspect that some people are gonna kind of like it. Some people will be inspired by it. Some people will discover recipes that they didn't know I had made. I've also heard that there are some people that go looking for these videos, these what I eat in a day, what I eat in a week videos, just so that they can tell people how wrong they are or how wrong I am. I'm not keto or I shouldn't eat that ingredient or I should go vegan or something like that. So if you're one of those people, you can just move right along because it's not going to matter to me. Also, if I continue to do these videos, I will probably experiment with the format a little bit. Just have some fun with it. I thought about doing a Casey Kasem voice for this whole video and doing this like a countdown. We're counting down the top seven meals that Steve ate this week. But I don't think I could probably maintain a Casey Kasem voice for a full four or five minutes. Lastly, if there are any of the things that I ate over the course of this week that I already have a recipe video for, I will link to it down in the description below and maybe in the end card over here. Thanks for watching.